Facebook, YouTube, and everybody in between. How y'all doing? It's your favorite YouTuber, Mr. Bama Ballistics, with a little bit of car trouble for you. Now, I had a misfire develop, so I put my COVID scanner on it, and it said PO303, which is cylinder 3. Now, anytime you get a code PO30 something, chances are it's one of the cylinders misfiring. Now, if you get a PO300, that one's fun because uh, that's a random multiple misfire. <laughs> but yeah, I've had that on a Buick. But in this case, this is on a 2007 Crown Victoria. And uh, to help you find cylinder three, it goes one, two, three, four on the passenger side, and then five, six, seven, and eight on the driver's side. Pretty simple. <laughs> now, I'm not going to sit there and recite the firing order to you because I don't know it. But anyway, should just need a 7 millimeter socket. And in this case, I'm using this setup. And, uh, of course, a replacement coil. Now, I'm hoping the coils that I bought originally for old boy, back when I first got it, will fit. If not, oh well. At least you know how to do it. Now, the first thing you do is get that stick out of there. That don't need to be there. <laughs> is uh, unplug the coil. And there should be a little tab on the bottom of this plug. Squeeze that tab in. And wiggle the plug off. Ow. Ow. It should come free. <clears throat> come out there. Ow. Why? Been on there for a while. <laughs> Probably the factory coils. <clears throat> oh. Now before I go any further, I'm going to check to see that these actually fit. Yeah, it fits the plug. Okay, that's a good sign. I'm worried that I might have to take that fuel rail off because I do not feel like messing with that at all. I'm going to rotate this vacuum hose up out of the way. Oh. Yeah, that's dry rotted. <laughs> that was not tight at all. Which is why I chose a nut driver because I knew it wasn't going to be very tight. Wasn't no need to bring the ratchet out. Oh. Anyway. <clears throat> be careful not to drop the bolt or any part of it. Because you will never find another one. <laughs> this is a common problem on these. The chances are, if you go to the puller parts, they're all going to be gone. Because every time I go, all this is gone. Well, most of the time, anyway. Anyway, I got lucky in that case, and that coal just kind of blooped up out of there. Oh. Now, take note of which way this boot is turned. The boot. And make, because they will turn. And make sure that the new one turn the same way okay Eesh. yeah that one's been on there for a while oh. Oh. make sure you don't get nothing down in the hole like a leaf <clears throat> to break contact and start a fire and all that other mess and yeah oh Should just bloop, down on there. Oh. Did you get a hold of the 
plug. Yep, you gotta hold this part plug. Alright. Gotta make sure of that too. Gotta make sure it didn't just go down next to the spark plug and not and grab onto it. Alright, now that should fix it. Ow. Push it down in there pretty good. So it stays for the most part. Oh. Go ahead and reverse my ratchet and nut driver here. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, trying to get this back on there without dropping this bolt. Reach around that line like that. I'll go ahead and stick the bolt in the hole. Oh, well, I said. Oh, yep. Make sure the bolt is started in the bottom because that's a uh, coarse thread on that thing. It'll chew that intake manifold up if it ain't right. Screw it back down. And like I said before, it wasn't very tight at all. That is a very coarse thread. And if you put all the cavemen on there, <laughs> you finna have some issues. Oh, go ahead and plug this back up. <laughs> Plug this back up. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it went. I'm hoping that coils some good. Cause it's been in the back of old boy for a while. Oh. If not, it don't take long to change. <clears throat> now, get all my tools put up. We'll fire it up and take it down the road one time. See if that fixed it. Now, if it's still skipping like crazy, it ain't had much time to cool off and it only skipped when it was warmed up. So if it's going to skip, we should know shortly. Go ahead and give it a three count. Seems a little better. Hmm. But uh, you can't really know until you take it down the road because it's going to be all kind of. If it was a steady skip, like kind of like it was doing, there'll be fuel and you know unburnt. Un, like bleh, amounts of fuel in the cylinder and if you're burning oil there's oil in there and all kind of stuff but it feels a lot better and it's still at operating temperature because I just got home a few minutes ago like I've been home long enough to make this video <laughs> the runtime of this video is how long it took to get this job done alright it does not take long at all Oh yeah, oh yeah, that did it, I think, but we're going to find out here when I get on it, see what it do, oh yeah, <laughs> Woo. yep, that did it, Oh, 
skunk back a little bit. It's almost been bad for a while. She's been lacking. Cat lacking. Yeah, my rear end's whining a little bit, but yeah. She's been lacking and cat lacking. I think that did it. Down here at the road, we'll know. She was not liking going 45, 50, 55. drive it at least three miles pushing trying to make it skip or something before I put my um, code reader back on it Skip. Let's see what it do. code reader back on it.
the door squeaking. <laughs> DTCs, reading codes, PO303 again. Definitely misfiring again. I can hear it now. Be the plug. But anyway, at least now you know how to change your coils. So in the meantime, y'all take it easy, have fun, and be safe. <laughs>